you can let them in now. Okay, Miss Adams. <laughs> oh, Adelaide, darling. You were stupendous. Superb. Magnificent. Never better, my dear. There's no one to touch you. You're very kind. It's been lovely. But all good things must come to an end, you know. I'm afraid I have to leave Chicago right away. So if you'll excuse me, last nights are always exhausting and I'm very tired. Oh, but uh, we've something to ask you. Uh, a special favor. <laughs> now, boys, I can't make any supper date for tonight. I'm practically on my way to Europe. That's why we just had to come before you vanished. Maybe forever. I'll be back someday. Oh, well, that's just it. Well, where? How can we wait? Can you sing us just one last chorus of Harry? Just one more, especially for us. Harry? But I've sung it about five times already. Oh, we know, but just for us. Especially for us? Just one more. <laughs> oh, very well. But this is definitely my farewell performance. <sighs> You turn to the subject of Harry That's a horse of a different safari He can box like a fox He's as dumb as a knife Be sure to come back to see us as soon as you can. I certainly will. Chicago won't be the same. Don't you dare say goodbye. Just au revoir. <laughs> All right. Au revoir, dudes. Thanks a million. I'll be seeing you. Au revoir. Goodbye. Ninnies. Oh, Miss Adams, they really admire you. Well, everybody does. <laughs> well, don't you like being admired? I love it. It gets very boring. These last few weeks have been hell. Oh, how can you say that? They've been wonderful. The theater packed every night and the parties, well, they've worshipped you here. Chicago is primitive. And so are the people. I can't wait to get away. Think of it, Katie. London, Paris, Vienna. Oh, how I envy you. Well, maybe someday I'll be on the stage. Oh, well, not a grand and beautiful star like you, Miss Adams, but maybe just to sing a song. I can sing and I can dance a little. I know, darling. I've heard you. Very nice for choirs and weddings, but I doubt it would ever reach beyond the footlights. There now. How do I look? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Well, maybe if I never sang by myself, I could be in the chorus. You could mention it to somebody sometime. Okay. You're not serious. Not really. I mean, you're... <laughs> never mind. Cheer up. I might send for you when I get to Paris. Good night, darling. Good night, Miss Adams. Katie, I'm buying a whole new wardrobe. So get rid of these tired old rags, will you? Sell them or something. I'll make you a present of them. Bye now. Goodbye. When you turn to the subject of heaven, that's a horse of a difference of family. He can box like a as dumb as an ox, but it's Harry I'm planning to marry. Though he's built like the bus stop Apollo, just remember a statue is hollow. Physically, he's devilish, mentally, super.
tainted varmints. <laughs> Ma'am, you should not have do something like that. Well, I thought there was a whole policy after me. Oh, who, who are you? Just call me Calamity. Most folks do. Came all the way from Deadwood City just to see you. Uh, what, what do you want? Gonna try and talk you to come back with me. Gosh almighty, you're the prettiest thing I ever seen. Never knew a woman could look like that. Uh, please, would you mind? I'm sorry, do you need help getting into that old... Ah! I plug me for this size. If you don't get out of here this instant, Mr. Calamity or whatever your name is... Like... Mr. <laughs> she thought I was a man. <laughs> come to think of it, that ain't very funny. The clothes and the gun and everything, I oh, think nothing of it. Maybe if I fix a mess. But there ain't a woman I can outright or I'd shoot. I'm sorry, I must have made a mistake. Think nothing of it. But if I fix my hair and cut my hair, what's the use? Not all of us can have a figure like Miss Adelaide Adams. That's a matter of opinion. In the opinion of Deadwood, there ain't no other opinion. Now, let's get down to business. I'd like to hire you to come and perform in Deadwood. Me? I know. I got a lot of nerve asking, but the men, they want you pretty bad. And I gave my word I come to persuade you, so I guess you can name your price. Oh, well, the, the salary's not important. Just are you sure you mean me? Every bullwhacker and prospector in the territory's chewing itself sick on them dang cigarette tobacco just to get a picture of you. Oh. For a moment I thought, what? Nothing, I was just being stupid. Well, you can go back to Deadwood and tell them that Miss Adams is very sorry, but she's on her way to Europe. Couldn't you put that off till after you played Deadwood? I suppose I could. You could? Well, I'm just thinking, is that picture the only one they have of me in Deadwood? Brecken so, man. And where is Deadwood? South Dakota. In the Black Hills. Indians? Sioux. But you ain't gotta worry about Indians when you're traveling with Calamity Jane. Trains go there? Not for a hundred miles or more. But the old stage ain't too discomfort. And no telegraph? No, but if you want to send a letter... Oh, uh, no, I wouldn't. This place is pretty cut off, and nobody in New York or Europe would ever hear of who went there or what was going on? Wouldn't think so, ma'am, but you see... And I suppose if I refuse to go with you, you'll put that gun out and force me to go, won't you? Hold on, If I refuse to leave this room, you'll put that gun against my back and walk me to the railroad station, won't you? I ain't say... I am completely at your mercy. Well, help me pack. I'm going to Deadwood. I got a strange feeling somebody's being hustled. Oh.